everybody, you do again. This is uh, your doll collector, and I want to talk about the discussion of Barbie. Most of us doll collectors include Barbie dolls, but the recent trend in Barbie dolls that I've seen in stores, and I'm not going to mention any series, is that many of the Barbie dolls, except for the silk stone, are, are not made as well as they used to be. Now this isn't new because back in the late 80s, if it's late or early 80s, the tail had cut, the, cut back on quality too. And the best Barbies have always been the silk stone before or her, they might stop making. But the current series, they're just not as good. They're just not as good. So I want to show you the Barbie dolls that I've collected back in the 90s, early 2000s, how better construction that they were. The first one is uh, Barbie's best friend, Teresa. I'd, I had forgotten whether this was Florida Teresa. I got her in 1998 at Walmart, if I remember. And uh, I did eventually paint her nails, if you can notice. I did eventually paint her nails. She didn't have painted nails. I painted them. And uh, I bought this separate outfit because she was in a, a bathing suit. A nice uh, shopping Barbie uh, outfit uh, with a red, red uh, scarf and a uh, leopard type knit little coat and um, a b black pants with bell bottoms and black, black boots black boots, and uh, she twists and turns, and her head moves around, and she even moves her arms up and down, if you can see it, and then um, she has this little shopping thing, and uh, her legs still move up and down, and she still has wonderful fresh hair since I've been taking good care of it. And I had forgotten she was Teresa. I thought she was a Barbie until I had to look it up. The next is uh, Baywatch Ken. He doesn't look like the actor was in Baywatch. And uh, I did buy him a separate outfit. His original outfit is long gone. And he, moved, he still has the uh, clickety-click movable legs. And uh, he moves his arms up and down. Although his head doesn't uh, do anything. At one time I put a beard and mustache on him and I felt it was terrible. So I had to perform some surgery. I was careful about it. I even put some brow. But I got, I had eliminated. I carefully painted the, some of the things that broke. Looks like he has acne. Also, is his uh, water motor, motor scooter. Still works runs on water, can float on water too, see, and uh, if you're old as me, you probably remember the TV show, I never watched it, but I got this separate outfit here, if you notice, uh, and its outfit is a blue, a blue, uh, blue shoes and a blue coat with a, a striped red t-shirt and brown long pants, which you can uh, take off, and you see it fully. Uh, this is Florida Skipper, and I'm gonna I'm gonna demonstrate her with her outfit that I that I have for her. She has three three outfits. One is jogging and one is for school. And this is her summer outfit. Now she she twists and turns also. And I got her in nineteen ninety nine. I got the Baywatch pin in nineteen ninety six, I remember. Not ninety six. And uh, her arm articulate, move up and down, if you, if you can notice, and she does the traditional clicking, and, and she, she's full of mischief. In fact, her face looks very mischievous, if you look closely. 
and uh, she just like to have a good time, typical of a teenager. She got a teenager's body. So, uh, we're going to demonstrate on, 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 uh, on, uh, on, on putting some of her clothes to what she looks like. First, her joggers out. have to take her off. You see how well constructed these dolls were back in the 90s. She's tan because she's supposed to be Florida vacation skipper. I got her at Walmart. So, we're going to put on her jogging now. Now the first clothes that we're going to put in is her jogging outfit. Oh, I got it the wrong way. Now here she is in her jogging outfit. See? Okay, now we're going to uh, put on her outfit, her school outfit. She's ready to go back to school, nice pink pants, kind of dark, light purpley pink shirt and flower. She still has good hair. And 
And here is Baywatch Barbie. Now she, she, I threw away her original costume. And she twists and turns still. Her head swivels. Now she doesn't articulate here, but she still moves her, her, um, lips still. She still moves her, um, she still moves her, uh, legs. She has a comb, and uh, I bought this wonderful outfit replace. It is lace underwear with a lace bra and the flower in the middle and the lace invisible skirt. You can look at it, and her uh, and her and her panties beneath it kind of makes it look sexy. And, uh, I did paint her nails, if you can notice, too. Even paint her toes. One of her shoes has been lost for a long time, long ago, too. I tried to find it, but I couldn't. I have got stuck up in the back of the screen. See? She has painted nails. And, uh... Here is Florida Skipper, who also twists and turn. I got her in 1999. Although she was put out in '98, she had green earrings. She had a green baby suit originally, and I bought this separate outfit for her later. Makes it look like a Hollywood star or a call girl. Or... It is a sexy outfit. She had original strap-on shoes, but they tore up. So these shoes are actually replacements from a pack called Barbara, Millicent Barbie Pack, which has extra stuff for Barbie dolls. And uh, this wasn't a part of it neither. Um, this is also part of this Millicent Barbie, Barbie doll pack that I got. And uh, so this is kind of replacement. This is an add-on. But this is the original outfit here. Uh, the stockings, the purple skirt, the golden top. She has nice, lovely hair. And uh, she twists and turns. She bends. She doesn't articulate here. She articulates in the head. Here is Fashion Fever Barbie. I got her in 2005, and it was Toys R Us. I thought it was Fashion Easter, but it was Fashion Fever. And uh, her stand kind of broke up and used a little band in the back. And uh, here's her original paraphernalia. It says Fashion Fever. The pictures of the Fashion Fever. Line. See how superior quality they have. Some more paraphernalia. And uh, she has nice red hair. And she has a uh, nice oriental jacket. And a nice, uh, kind of half black oriental pants that are kind of halfway bell bottom with golden boots. And her head swivel. And she, her arms move up and down. And she still uh, also bumps, clicks. But this one does not, uh, this one does not, uh, twist and turn. Just moves up and down. Swivel. And here's her stand. And it says Barbie here. What's left of it. And here is the uh, very handsome stud fashion fever can. 
I thought it was fashionista. There was fashion fever chin. With his front pack, his jeans, his nice realistic shoes, and his, uh, and his, uh, sweater with a hood. has a little design pattern in it. He doesn't twist and turn, of course. He doesn't swivel. He's more rigid, but he does do the clickety-clackety-click. See? But you see how good, better quality, if you notice how the quality of these dolls are better than some of the curtain ones they're putting out. <coughs> I'm not going to mention because Mattel might get mad, and some of you like those dolls, but even in the 90s, they did them better. And uh, Ken barely has any flock hair. He has any real hair anymore these days, except for one. In my opinion, it's not very good either. But he has his hair. If you really like my video, please comment, subscribe, and like, and always look for the notification button on YouTube. Bye.